Hey guys, I am back today with another installment of my summer travel series and this time sharing with you one of my most favorite carry-ons that I have been using for about a year and a half, I think now. Uh, this is the Case Logic. Now hold on, I gotta get the name right. I've got a little cheat sheet over here. SLRC-206 SLR um, camera laptop backpack. <laughs> Oh, I really wanted to get that memorized, but it didn't work out. Well, you got the name of it. It's basically, it's a um, camera and laptop backpack. It is designed to be used to not only um, safely carry your um, laptop, but also any um, DSLR camera equipment you have. This is a great bag. Honestly, I picked this up because I heard about it through Miss Glamorazzi here, Ingrid. I think her channel is now just Ingrid Nelson. I think she changed it on YouTube. Um, she talked about it like in a vlog a few years ago and it just was in my mind for a while and I was in the market for a, a new bag um, that I could use uh, for my camera equipment specifically and she raved about it and I was like, well, I'll try it out. I bought it through Amazon and as an Amazon Prime member, you get a really good return policy. So I was like, well, I can just return it if it's not the right thing. Well, I got it and I loved it. I loved it and I've used it so many times since and I thought I would take you through it and show you all of the awesome features of this backpack. This is like heavy duty stuff here. This backpack is built to last. Um, not only does it fit quite a bit in it and is very versatile in terms of the built-in um, and kind of removable organizational aspects of it. Um, but it's also very comfortable to wear and very light considering how kind of rugged it is, especially with this, this base and everything too. So I'm gonna take you in look, uh, kind of a bird's eye view, give you a look at the bag itself, kind of my thoughts on it, and also show you how I pack it as a carry-on for me. Um, you know, you can really do a lot with this bag for different people for different needs, but I'm gonna show you how I pack it. So uh, let's, uh, let's have a look. Okay, this is the Case Logic SLRC-206 SLR Camera Laptop Backpack. Uh, I've been using this for a bit, a little over a year now, and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite carry-ons. I use it especially when I know I'm going to need both hands at the airport, and that's usually when I'm traveling with my dog Winnie and I'm carrying her airline-approved carrier. Um, so this helps me be able to carry all my gear and be hands-free. So I love traveling with backpacks for hands-free option. Um, but also, it's just a really great bag. It is super well made. It is this high quality nylon. I really love the base, if you can see. It has this um, EVA water-resistant base. It's basically like a really, really high-grade rubber. And it's lightweight, although it's very durable. And the rubber base actually makes the backpack stand on its own. But it also protects your contents. If you, you know, suddenly put your bag down or drop your bag, it, it acts as a, you know, kind of like a helmet <laughs> for the bottom of your backpack. So I really like that. I find the fit is very comfortable for me as, you know, kind of like a more petite sized woman. I don't know if I'm like really petite, but you know, I'm 5'4", I'm not, very tall or broad or anything. It's very comfortable to wear. Um, it's got this vented kind of padded cushion. I really like the uh, how the straps um, Velcro up so they're not like flopping around the adjustable straps. It's really nice. Um, and I really like the features. When I first got the bag, I was a little bit unsure of it because um, I'm used to a backpack that zips open here and you can like reach into it that way and this one opens completely differently. Um, I'm going to take you through the bag step by step and show you everything. Um, just a few more statistics about the bag. It is 17 inches long by 8 inches wide by 12 and a half inches high. Um, so that's when it's full. It's kind of flat right now because I don't have any of the stuff in it. Um, and it weighs 2.7 pounds, so it's not very heavy for being a really well-constructed bag. I think it's really, really nice. Um, so let's go into the bag now, and I will, I'll take you into it. It has this really nice extra padded, cushiony uh, back here where you uh, can put your laptop. It can fit up to a 16-inch regular laptop or a 17-inch MacBook. Uh, I have a 15-inch MacBook, so it fits in very well, and there's still extra room to put in any magazines or folders, travel folders I might have. Uh, and I like that it zips almost all the way down, so you really can get a lot of reach 
Or you, if you don't want you know, to, it to open that high, you just don't unzip it that far. And the inside, as you can see, is this nice bright yellow, which is really easy to see things in as well. The side of the bag, this is great if you are a vlogger like me. Um, it has this little strap. I just have a Vera Bradley luggage tag on it. It has these two slip pockets. My phone and my vlogging camera fit perfectly in there, but they're also secure with the zipper, which is nice. Um, but I can easily reach them when I need to. The other side of the bag I honestly don't use and this is intended purpose. This is actually strapped to put in a tripod. I don't travel with a tripod. Mostly when I'm taking this bag it's going to Utah with me and I have a tripod out there. But I actually use the strap quite effectively to put water bottles in or sweatshirts. Um, so I do use it, it's just not for its intended purpose. There is this smaller pocket on the front which um, opens up pretty wide, you can see as well. And this, I keep some feminine products in, sorry about that. And some pens and some things like uh, cough drops I just leave in here all the time. Um, but this is where I'll put little ends and odds, things that I, I don't you know, worry too much about. I don't put a lot in there to be honest, except for the things that I leave in there all of the time. I have uh, some extra poopy bags as well. Those are just sort of things that always live in this bag. Um, the zippers are really nice quality as well. They're very, rugged but also very durable um, and they work really well. Now the main compartment opens up this way which is what I was talking about earlier about, about being a little bit different. I'm just going to show you there are these velcro closures to further secure your bag if you didn't want to open it all the way and that's actually for a specific feature when you have some of the inserts in um, that make it so your camera goes into this like sling hammock thing. I will try to recreate that. I've never used it that way to be honest, but that's one of the features of the bag. So as you can see, it opens this way almost like, like a suitcase basically. Um, and I've taken all of the inserts out. So this is the bare bones bag. And you can take everything out of it and use it just like this as, you know, basically a regular bag. And you can fit so much in it. So the interior is lined in this super, super nice kind of foamy uh, felt covered um, you know cushion and then the top part is also very cushioned there's this very cushiony zip portion here and then this clear um, mesh one that's water resistant which is great for like memory cards and batteries and things and then this up here is actually a memory foam it's actual memory foam um, if you have your camera in it the way that I was just describing, which is really hard to describe. So that's the bag with basically nothing in it. Um, empty. Now it comes with all of these inserts, and they are Velcro, and that's why it's got that kind of like vel um, felt the uh, interior, because then it can handle the Velcro. So it comes with all of these, and they're all stuck together because that's just the way I store them, it's easier. But um, these are the ones I use most often when I'm traveling with my camera. Um, when I'm not traveling with my camera, I do still sometimes take this bag, um, just without anything in it. So this is actually a base um, pad, so it Velcros in just at the bottom, easy peasy, and it just adds a little extra um, cushioning at the bottom to secure you know, anything you have pushed up against there. And I don't worry about pushing up delicate equipment to the bottom of the bag because of the reinforced EVA uh, base. And then it has a couple of these longer wall type things um, and then a bunch of smaller dividers. So I'm gonna show you how I set it up usually for me is I keep it like, let's see, this on one side because all I usually bring with me is my DSLR camera and two lenses, and I keep the one lens already attached. So they just the vel velcro just you know just velcros to the wall there, just like that. And then I put a little divider in for where my little lens goes at the bottom. And like I said, I don't worry about putting delicate equipment at the bottom of the bag because it can hold up to it. It works out just fine. Um, so there you can see built-in dividers right there, built-in organization, but it's removable, which is great. Now, I can't actually put my camera in there right now because obviously I'm filming on it, but I'll insert some photos of what it looks like when just my camera is in there. Um, but I do have an extra lens here. I have one of my lenses, and I will just tuck this into the back, and it snuggles right in there, and it's perfectly protected. I've traveled with it like this many times, works like a charm. Now, of course, 
you can put a lot more in here if you have a lot more equipment. Um, because you get all of these. And the bag actually, when you buy it, it comes with them all set up in it. So if you're worried about like not knowing how to set it up, um, you don't have to worry about that because it comes already set up. But I was just gonna try to recreate it, if I can remember, it's been a long time. Um, I believe that it comes like this. Two smaller. So it's got four of these kind of smaller little walls. I hope I'm still in frame, I'm sorry guys. Um, if I'm not. Like so. And then it has this hammock thing. Now let me see if I can remember how this goes. Right, so this goes, these go in the middle, because depending on how long the lens you have on your camera, the, the thought of this part, this setup, is that you can have it um, set up so that uh, you can just grab your camera from the top of the bag and put it in. So basically the thinking is, and I'm not, honestly, I'm not sure if this is exactly how it goes, is that you can have your camera lens down this way and it cradles it and then this memory foam part pushes against the back of the camera, protecting the back of your camera. And then when you're out on the go, if you're like a photographer and you're out on a shoot, you don't have to open your bag all the way. That's what these little Velcro tabs are for. You can just open it this way and grab your camera out like that and be ready to go. Obviously, I don't use it in that capacity, but I still think it's a great bag and it was definitely worth the investment for me. So now I'm gonna show you how I generally pack it when I'm traveling with my camera. Again, like I said, I can't pack the camera itself. I'll have to, you'll have to make do on the picture with the camera in it. Um, and show you that how versatile this bag is as just a regular carry-on and not necessarily an equipment bag. So I've got all of my carry-on items laid out on the bed there. And these are just things that I like to have on the flight with me. Um, and they fit nicely in the bag. And I've reset up the bag so it's exactly how I like to have it um, for my, to suit my needs. And I'm gonna show you how I pack it. Okay, so now I've got the bag set up how I usually travel it with it when I'm bringing my camera. Like I said, I can't put the camera in just yet, but I do have my lens here. I'm gonna tuck into the bottom just like I showed you before. It's nice and safe. I don't need to access it during the flight, so it's okay that it's kind of pushed to the bottom there. And then my camera goes in right there, as you saw in the picture. Then I just kind of use the, take advantage of the height of the bag because, you know, it's got quite a bit of room this way. And I like to store things vertically. It's just easier to see everything and um, kind of access them. So I have my Kindle. And then I have a couple of pouches here. These were from the Orla Kylie for Target line um, from the fall. I think they still have these, but in a different pattern. They came in a set of three, actually. I'm not using the largest one, but the medium one, I've got my pocket size agenda in, and the small one has my knitting. And you can see, I'm actually gonna put them in the zipper side down. They fit perfectly right there. And then I have this uh, pencil case from Cool, or from Happy Baby, um, and this just has some of the things that I like to use with my agenda. It's a pencil case, you get the picture, fits right there. And then I have two Eagle Creek pouches that I use for, um, one is for chargers. I have all my camera chargers and extra camera batteries and phone charger and, and things like that in there. And then in this one I have, oh, I didn't put my mouse in yet. Go ahead and pop that in there. This is all of my electronics, that, or chargers and things that go with my computers. It's my computer charger and mouse. And it fits very nicely right there. All in, all perfectly fits fine. Then, of course, I have my travel walking pharmacy. This is a 311 cosmetic case from Vera Bradley. It's TSA approved. So I'm just gonna put that in there. I have another Eagle Creek pouch. This is a Spectre pouch and in it I have a lightweight scarf. I like to travel always with a scarf um, just to use as extra um, warmth or you know if I get cold on the plane around my neck or even kind of draped around me as a blanket just feel like better safe than sorry. I always also fly with layers on like in the summer I'll usually fly with a t-shirt on and then some sort of sweatshirt um, that I can wrap around my waist if I want or Velcro it to the side of my bag. I've got my Bose noise canceling headphones. I just keep these in a little velvet pouch. It's just easier than the bulky case that they came with. Um, I find that I don't really need that. Um, so that fits just fine. And then I usually have a snack. I'm not packing the snack just right yet because I'm not leaving just yet, but I usually bring like a 
peanut butter sandwich or something and a couple of, you know, snack bars just in case I get really hungry and I just don't really like airplane food that much. And then I have some warm fuzzy socks. I like to take my shoes off when I'm sitting on the plane, but sometimes it's really cold. So that keeps them warm. And then this is a uh, reusable tote. And then lastly, I have my little wallet. It's just my everyday wallet. Fits right nice at the top so I can reach it, but it's secure in the bulk of the bag. And you can see, fit quite a bit in there. And it's all vertical so I can just grab out what I need when I want to use something. Now I do use these pockets as well. Uh, this one I usually just put, I have a little password file I like to bring with me when I travel. And checkbook, you never, don't leave home without that. And they fit like a glove in that pocket there. And then I use this, actually usually use it for uh, memory cards and I kind of travel with a whole bunch of memory cards. I keep them in their little plastic cases just for further protection. But then I know where all my memory cards are and I can just, I don't have to think about it. And they don't get like lost floating around in a, you know, a bag or something. And then one last thing, this is my favorite little pillow. Uh, this is the uh, little pillow I use for lumbar support. It actually opens up to have a blanket in it and everything. I only ever really use it as a pillow on my back. And I put it just right on top of all those things because when I get on the plane, this is the first thing I pull out, put it on my seat, then I can easily access the rest of the stuff. And the bag fits nicely under the seat in the plane. I've never had a problem with storing it that way. And I can easily pull it out and, you know, get whatever I want out of it. And then close the bag. Now with the pillow, it is a little bit full, but because it's a pillow, it's like, I don't really worry about squishing it that much. And then like I said, I really like this feature on the side. I'm gonna put my vlogging camera. Usually put that one in the low, lower one. And here I've got my phone. Put that in the higher one. You can see, fit really wisely. And then of course, you don't leave home without my computer. Uh, so I have my, this is my MacBook Pro, and I have this uh, case on it. I believe it's by Kuzi, just for extra protection. And then I have a travel folder. We'll zip everything up. And voila, the bag is packed. You can see it's not too bulky. Um, everything fits really nicely in it. I feel like it's really nicely protected on the base and the bottom. And it's everything I need for any length flight, even a really long flight. That's all I need. I've got plenty of things to do in there. So there you have it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my Case Logic backpack and how I pack it. I can't say enough good things about this bag, uh, especially if you are carrying equipment or you um, worry about things in your carry-ons. It's just such a well-constructed bag with the bottom and everything. I love that it stands up all by itself. It's like sitting next to me like a dear friend. I don't know, that was weird. Um, but it's just, it's a great bag and I wanted to share it. I wanted to share it with you guys. I've decided to host a little giveaway to coincide with this bag. Uh, and I'm going to be giving away two of these exact model backpacks, brand new. Um, and if you are interested in entering this giveaway, just head on over to my coordinating blog post. Uh, there's a link below and instructions on how to enter. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so good luck to everybody for that. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my bag and what, what, how I pack it and all that. And uh, let me know, of course, if you have any suggestions for future travel videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend and safe travels. Bye.